Hey guys, welcome to channel Dev Kage. In this video, I'll show you how to use dismissible widget within a list view to allow the elements of list view to be dismissed by swiping left or right. So let's get started. The first thing we need is a list view. So let's replace the current body of our app with list view builder. I'll limit the number of items by setting item count as my list view dot length and let's define my list as a list of strings. We will fill this list on the fly later. Next, let's define the item builder. We will need the build context and index as an input for this function. Inside here, I'll return a dismissible widget. So dismissible widget needs two required properties, child and key. Let's first add the child property and this will be a value key with my list element at index as input. Remember that key needs to be unique. Next, let's add the child property. I'll use a list style here, title for which will be element at index of my list. Now let's try to fill my list. For this, I'll use the floating action button. We will also need an integer which we will keep on increasing every time floating action button is pressed. Inside the on press, I'll do a set state and inside it, I'll add a new element to my list. And after that, I'll increment n by 1. After saving this code, we can add new elements to the list by clicking on floating action button. And we can also swipe these elements left or right to dismiss them. But there is one problem here. We have not removed the elements from my list yet. And as a result, if I try to add a new element by pressing floating action button again, we will get an error. The error states that a dismissed dismissible widget is still part of the tree. And to handle this, we should implement the onDismissed handler. So let's do that. Let's add the onDismissed function. This function needs dismiss direction as input. Inside this function, I'll add a set state call and will remove the element at current index from my list. And now if I try to add new elements after dismissing some elements, it will work properly. Next, let's quickly print out the value of direction to debug console. And you can see that if I swipe the list items from left to right, it prints start to end and when I swipe from right to left, it prints from end to start. So you can use the dismiss direction to perform different operations depending on the direction in which the item is swiped. If you want to show some widget on the background while the item is being swiped, you can use the background property. I'll set a container widget here with its color property as blue. And now if I swipe the items, we'll see a blue background behind it. If you want to have a different background for a different swipe direction, use secondary background. I'll set it as a red container and now we'll get different background when swiping from right to left. Next, you can also control the duration of resize animation using resize duration property. I'll set it as 2 seconds and after removing an item, the resizing of background widget will take 2 seconds. If you want to restrict the swipe direction, you can do so by setting the direction property. The up and down values that you see here are useful when your list view is horizontal. If I set it to end to start, left to right swipe will be blocked. Next, if you want to control the offset value after which the item will be considered as dismissed, you can do this by using dismiss thresholds. Here, you will have to specify a map of dismiss direction and the offset value in that direction. You can also use the on resize callback to perform some operations while the item is being swiped. Also, if you want to get an confirmation from user before actually removing the item, you can do that using the confirm dismiss property. Here, you can use a function which will return a future boolean. So when the future completes, depending on the value of boolean, the dismiss can be cancelled. Most probably, you will be using an alert widget here to get the inputs from user. So these were some of the basic properties that you should know about dismissible widget. If you liked the video, hit the like button and do subscribe for more such content.